Okay, so on our upper tier, we're looking at uh, Infocom. We work from Infocom's uh, Tolkien inspired, inspired Colossal Cave derived games from Zork to the later Zorks, the other Spellbreakers, and the yeah, fancy games that Infocom did. We move across, we've got a bit of a smorgasbord of the range of later titles they did. So things like uh, Trinity at the back here, and the C game, whose name I've forgotten. Uh, there's copies of some documentation about you and a range of exciting and wacky media and materials that Infocom would provide. So kind of harried notes or printed out um, uh, equipment lists and comics. Uh, we've got an Atari 800, which is a rotten computer we probably would have used at the time. Emphasis on the commercialization of hints and clues here. So there's a, the, the hint books would be originally have been sold separately or incredibly profitable and usually were more expensive than the games. They have their 1900 number, which would be even more expensive for a kid in the UK to ring. Uh, and would probably have had you grounded for some time. Uh, coming down here, we're looking more at the DIY end of uh, interactive fiction and gaming. At the back, we're padded out again with more materials from the early days of Infocom. But we also have some input magazines. So input was this really interesting um, series of 52 magazines produced by Marshall Cavendish that you collected and taught you how to program. You do a full range of things from Things like basic programming through to advanced machine code, Lisp, Prolog, things that have kind of disappeared from computer vernacular now. Uh, these ones are um, uh, a, a type in your own adventure game, which they could squeeze into 5K, which is one zigatrillionth of what you have in a modern computer. We also have um, when EA was cool, uh, not a uh, violence and sport game company. Um, but we've got Stuart Smith's Adventure Construction Kit, which was a great way for people to produce their own games without any kind of technical skills. And just down here is a bit of a novelty from um, Infocom, which was the um, game that was authored by Douglas Adams. Because he never quite finished his Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy on time. Uh, he produced another game called Bureaucracy, which was all about uh, the bureaucracy involved in changing your address. And it's all kind of very anal, and it was another game that no one really enjoyed. Um, but you could get away with because it was Douglas Adams.